All right, here we go. Welcome back. Episode number 22. Um, I have made some improvements to me and Lydia. We were wearing... Um, we were wearing dragon armor and Daedric before, but I've enchanted, uh, or I'm gonna enchant my armor here on camera. Looks like Farangar is in the way, like always wants to talk to me. Uh, so in in this episode, basically, I'm gonna be tackling. Let me just check. Uh, I'm gonna be getting a house in Falkreath so that I can move everything from Breeze Home to Falkreath. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to do Meridia Azura. Yes, those two quests, that's the plan for now, do Meridian Azura, because I'm going to be enchanting um, my armor, basically, to to give me, you know, a better chance, essentially, at surviving the different uh, princes. Yeah, the different princes' quests. So, right now, I'm just going to be enchanting this stuff. It's going to take me a little bit of uh, concentration to do that, so I'll just probably cut and show you when everything is done. All right, here we go. I just finished. I will show you my enchantments right now. Uh, the Daedric Helmet, I put increased Magicka by 62 and uh, Restoration Spells costing 25% less. The Daedric Armor, I put Health by 62 and Restoration Spells by 25% again. The Gauntlets, I put on Block. And uh, Magicka Increase, it's kind of weird, I find, that Gauntlets give you Magicka Increase. Uh, I mean, it doesn't, I don't know, whatever, I guess. Boots, I almost always put uh, Elemental Defenses on Boots, since Fire and Frost are the two most common ones in Skyrim. Uh, those are the ones that I put on. If you are a Nord or a Dark Elf, uh, you would ideally put the opposite enchantment, obviously. So if you're a Nord, put uh, Shock. And fire and if you're a dark elf put frost and shock because you already have resistances to your corresponding element right and the shield i put block and magic resistance now i've said this before but be a little bit careful with putting health enchantments like i have on my uh, armor here like increases health on your shield because when you when you're in combat right and you unequip the shield like this your health also goes down <laughs> So you could potentially kill yourself. So the shield... Oh, and uh, let me mention that finally. I have also numbered them. Helmet is number one. Chest number two. Gauntlet three. Boots four. Shield five. Necklace six. And ring seven. I'm going to be keeping the amulet of Talos for now. When I start getting taking a lot of magic uh, damage, I will put on the necklace. But I numbered them so that these things are always at the top of my inventory. And I've also switched, I, I noticed it immediately that I started moving a little slower. I've also switched to um, the um, Lord Stone. <clears throat> so I guess I guess we can check, take a look at how much armor. 345. So not that much armor at all. Uh, what about if I equip the shield? 416. So I have 416 with the Lord Stone and with the shield equipped. Uh-huh. Okay, that's so garbage. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna go to Falkreath for now and... Uh, <clears throat> try and see if I can do the one quest essentially for the Arl of Falkreath so that he can give me a house uh, and in the beginning of the next episode uh, I'm gonna basically have my house finished and everything that I have in Breeze Home in White Run is gonna be moved to my house. All right, so here we go in Falkreath, man. Falkreath always has the worst weather. I swear down. Did it, did it, did. But yeah, hopefully, I mean, I guess the Jarl will be sleeping, right? Oh, yeah, of course, Lydia. I forgot uh, to show you what I enchanted her stuff with. I'll do that in a second. Go cast to shut the hell up. Come here. Uh, she doesn't have her shield. Why not? Lydia sometimes uh, weirds out, man. So I basically give her stuff that is good for followers, right? 
Uh, I said previously that if you want to enchant your followers helmet, it should be archery ideally, but I don't I couldn't find a second thing to enchant it with, so I I didn't bother essentially. But um so if if it's in her inventory, the number it doesn't re doesn't really count. Okay. But anyways, I uh increase her shield with health and block cuz uh she takes less damage from magicka. Her boots are uh frost and fire and frost. Uh, the reason I did this is in case I want, or in case I get another follower that doesn't have frost resistance like Lydia. Um, block and carrying capacity because she will be carrying a few stuff for us every once in a while. Although I doubt that now. Maybe dragon bones. I'm not going to be looting that much. Helmet, nothing. Uh, put archery on it if you want. And uh, armor piece, health and stamina because obviously she needs health and stamina a lot. I don't know why you're not wearing your shield. What is wrong with you? Like, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just trying to give her a shield back. Boom, there we go. So let's uh, let's talk to this Jarl Siggear. Yes. You Do you have any work? The cut they were giving me was good at first. It will good. be done. Bile Glutch Mine. Oh, look at that. <clears throat> that's an area we've already been in. Uh, that's a mine in... That's a mine in... Um, that has a bunch of like orcish... Knife Point Ridge, there we go. It's a mine that has a bunch of orcish um, ores. I, I doubt that they would have respawned, but you know, what am I gonna do with orcish ores now anyways, you know? Okay, so here we go, oh my god. I just waited to make it daytime, essentially. And this bandit thug thinks he's hot shit. But yeah, like, uh, I mean, my magic defense right now I have the sh do you have the shield? Yeah, the shield does 10% magic, all right? So the shield is 20 magic defense. The boots are 37 and 37 on those. And obviously the uh, Agent of Mars as well as the stone. Man, I am so slow with Daedric, it's insane. Whoa, horse, what are you doing? Yeah, also the stamina. That's another reason that, uh, please be blacksmithing, no. That's another reason that um, the Steed Stone is so good. It preserves your stamina when you're sprinting and stuff, you know? I don't know. I, I did it mainly now for the elemental protection because I know that Azura and all that has been a pain in the past. Time to end this little game. Oh, I should have shot him like off of something. That guy fell down though. He's a regular bandit, okay. Are you in the glitch? Oh my god. Alright, I'm on a train. Oof. Do you know who I am? Yeah, so if I'd had a... If I had health on my shield there, Lydia, I'm gonna need your health here. Wow. Turn my block to 50 so that I can... Oh, dude, that's... Of course, that's something I totally need to do before... Um, before fighting the other enemies. There we go, I just need him to get it out of the uh, crevasse. And I'm just gonna fight him with my shield. Lydia, where are you? I have no idea what she is. You puny weakly. Lock, damn it. Get me the feedy. I mean, the bandit chief is probably gonna be even better for training block. I'm not gonna lie. So, yeah, I mean, I do still stagger quite a bit, to be honest. Ooh, can he kill me here? Hopefully not. Two handed warriors are a little bit more dangerous when it comes to that stuff. Um, that's not what I meant to do. I thought I had the bow on. <laughs> the, um,. The dragon bone bow, when you have it in your favorites menu, I'm gonna unequip it because it's it confuses me a little bit, and I put on the bow instead of the sword because they both start with D and they're right next to each other. Okay. Uh, so yeah, look, there's leveled armor here. Last time I came here, there was a, uh, or I guess maybe there's just a helmet that's leveled. Last time this was a steel plate helmet, and last time I did that too. Is this chest open? Hopefully it is. Nope, love is. I'm not even. I'm not even. Not even. <laughs> I'm so lazy with the lock picking. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. And I gave Lydia Sefer. Um, I couldn't figure out whether I wanted the Dragonbone bow for myself or whether I wanted Sefer. I just ended up going with the Dragonbone bow. 
Uh, the Dragon Bone Boy, even though it's heavy, it's quite deceptive in how quickly it shoots. Because here's the thing, right? I, I'm pretty sure the Daybreak Bow is not that great. Hit me! Ow. Don't kill me, though. Uh, the Daedric bow, I think it's it's not a very good heavy bow. So I didn't give Lydia any one-handed enchantments because she would be destroying everything. Uh, yeah, so I just gave her basically a lot of defensive stuff. Sure grip. Do I have the two-handed enchantment? I don't even think I do. And Soul Trap I already do have. Yeah, with regards to... Uh, my god, I, you still need like... Even with the Banish enchantment, which I've touched on before, is like the best enchantment in the whole game for uh, power leveling and stuff. Um, I still needed like 200 Iron Daggers. Uh, and I, I think I had around, you know, 83 Lesser Souls, 68 Common Souls, and like, you know, somewhere in the teens of Greater Souls. And I still used up almost all my petties as well. I think I was left with 37 petty or something. So... Yeah, it was insane. It, I, I, you know, still had to use a bunch, a bunch of uh, soul gems as well as iron daggers. <laughs> that was so much to get me from like, I don't even remember what level I started it off as though, but I obviously have all the points in enchanting, including extra effect. Guess I can show you up here. I mean, I, of course, I haven't put anything in anything other than enchanting. Um, Smithing I did, I believe, the previous episode when I got Dragon and Daedric. Uh, and then Enchanting I did before this episode. And that's the only stuff I've put any points into. Goodness. I cleared it's your Bile Clutch mine. You know 1,500. Okay, thank you. Uh, and I think you have to talk to the female High Elf. I'm a steward here. I'd like to purchase a house. Sure, I'll take it. Follow the road east from Paltry. I, I know where it is. He protects the Jarl. <laughs> All right, so um. Oh well, yeah, when I'm when I'm roaming around, I should probably bring a few daggers with me so that I can just go to several blacksmiths as I'm uh, on on and about, you know, around the world. Why did I do that? And basically just yeah, do their stuff for them. If I remember correctly. Yeah, so that I can basically sell the daggers and buy, you know, materials for my house. Because I've spent a lot of the iron ingots um, making daggers for smithing. If I remember correctly, in Bile Glutch Mine, that's where I find Meridia's beacon. However, the enemies will have probably respawned, and I'm not going to deal with any of that. So, what I'm going to do, hopefully I don't forget Lydia. I'm just going to do that. Ask her to wait for me. I think there is a... That trap is really dangerous. Be careful. And I'm going to enter Halted Stream Camp from the back. Yeah, so I'm basically just going to flipping... Loot the chest, I think. I'm not going to bother with the damn... Time to end this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I don't think... I don't think I'm going to be able to... Um, all oh, right. See, now you're gonna see what Listen, I mean. Hear me and obey. Oh, please, see I can lock it. darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. They're so loud. Shit. No stamina. I think, hopefully Lydia isn't getting involved, I swear to God. Return my beacon to Mount Kilcreek. I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. Lydia, take care of the wolves. What are you doing? So I wanted to try and fast travel while Meridia was talking to show if uh, if that actually works. But obviously I couldn't fast travel without Lydia. Just kill the damn thing. Are you with me? Hopefully you are. So let's go to Mount Kilcreath, which is a little bit outside of solitude. Look at my temple lying in ruins. Are you kidding me? I just spawned. What the hell? Lydia, what is wrong with you, man? Ooh. 
Are you okay? You read, I'll follow. Restore to me my beacon, that I might guide you toward your destiny. Oh my god. <laughs> Bring Maria. I think you can just run here for as much as you want. Your splendor, huh? Look how nice this game is. Well, I mean, you don't see much, but. Hmm. Oh, do I have to interact with you? Just tell me what to do. Oh, you can skip this part of her dialogue. Okay, good. I'll do it, sure. But this is your temple. <laughs> what do you need me to do your job then? <laughs> Meridia is so weird. Oh my god, whoa, this is kind of scary. <laughs> Alright, uh, I think, no, I think it doesn't work because it requires a key, but that's basically, that would be a short, a shortcut. No, maybe you can actually, let me see. I won't do it, obviously, but let me just see. Because I think the, um, the only reason it says requires key is, is if you don't have Meridia's Oh no, because you have to guide her light through the temple. So this is basically a location we will return to. That's an expert chest. Lydia is going to take care of that. No problem. Let's see here. Yeah, it requires key. So the reason that happens, I mean, we will be coming here, but the reason that that happens is because you need the light to sort of like unlock it, I suppose. Okay, um, this dungeon has, a, it doesn't have a, yeah, I don't think it has a master chest, but it has a bunch of corpses with a lot of gold on them. I do believe that's leveled, so if you come here at level 12 or whenever it unlocks, these guys will on average have less coins on them, basically. Um, so yeah, and there are obviously shades and stuff like that as well that you need to, uh, Defeat. I just touched the light, the door open, perfect. I think all they have is literally all the burned cor corpses have is, is gold. Not sure if you can trap these guys or not. Oh god, that's a lot of. They take a lot. Look at that. Daedric sword and stuff. <laughs> they don't even care. Hey, I'm gonna need your help here. Not with the damn arrows though. I wonder what, like, statistically is the best thing to give followers a heavy bow so that, you know, um, they have a slower DPS, right? But they fire more often. Or, wow, which way to go? Or the opposite, like a light bow with a higher DPS, like Zephyr. But, um, yeah, because maybe you don't want them to miss as often, right? With a heavy bow, obviously. Uh, I don't know which way to go. There were two ways right there. So maybe this one... No. Seven gold. <laughs> there is this constant... Um, I don't know. Oozing sound. It's kind of annoying. Look how much uh, stamina that one healing spell heals. That is uh, insane. Maybe this is where I would have come if I went the other way. Yeah, no. Yeah, maybe. So it would be like a short a shortcut. What you gonna do? Oh my god, I keep doing the sprinting stuff. It's kind of a little bit annoying. Um now that I'm actually thinking about it, I'm done. I'm gonna go a little bit ahead of Lydia, because I don't want her to kill uh, the next enemies that I'm gonna start fighting. Unless she already has the home. I don't know where she's at. She's over there. Okay, good. Because I need to train my block to 50 so that I get elemental protection before I start fighting Malkran. Oh my god, it's so damn close too. That is fantastic. I totally get it. I just, ideally I would like a two-hander. So she's right here. I'm probably going to ask her to 
Look at that. That's her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Her light being guided through the temple. Lids. I need you to do something. So again, explained this in an earlier episode. Was surprised myself. You can just hold the uh, interactive button to ask your follower to do something. Fire a bolt. Wow, that was garbage. What the? What the heck was that? That <laughs> was an expert chest. I'm level 38. What is this? But yeah, I think it's time for us to end our little game. Yo, without the steed stone, you lose armor so got so uh, stamina. Sorry, so fast. So I need a two-hander to hit me. There we go. Block 50. Let's go with elemental protection. These guys are no threat anymore, you know. Yay! Now we're just gonna rinse this dungeon. Die. That's sort of why I didn't have my shield out <clears throat> in the beginning. I was just trying to get my stamina back quick. Hiya. I do no notice that like once you get to a high level in the game and you just have everything uh, it becomes dude I cannot stand moving this slow this is insane I think it's worse with the Daedric armor than with like maybe I should just wear the wolf armor or something because this armor is so heavy I think the whole armor is like 90 units or something Jesus Christ um, finally a proper potion but you just rush through ruins and dungeons and stuff like that or at least i do because you know money isn't a big issue anymore that's kind of wanna that's kind of why i like the beginning of the game because then everything you pick up feels like uh exciting and just you know fun but once you have full daedric and whatnot and more money than you know what to do with because of all the damn banished daggers that i've created then it just becomes a little bit less fun if you want to call it that no, I fell down. Not f yeah, less less fun for me. I know that some people like just um, getting there. Essentially, can I do this? I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not gonna warp and sprint across there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stop it with the bow. I swear, God. If you start using the bow against Malker, and I'm gonna be mad. So in video games, generally. When I play video games, I sort of like the beginning of the game a lot because that's when you well that's when every upgrade feels you know the best essentially because you're so bad <laughs> you're so uh, under leveled and stuff. What is that book? I know it's a warrior skill. Visit your new property. Okay, I'll do that later. I'm gone game. Really? So block. <laughs> I'll be a son of a gun. Um, I will switch away from the Amulet of Talos, although I'm not even shouting, but I'm not really taking a lot of magic damage either, honestly. But I currently have the Amulet of Talos on so that I can shout. And then later I will switch uh, to a necklace that gives me, I believe, health and magic. Like health and magic um, defense. Magic defense and extra health. Is that a potion that resists frost? Oh, resist magic. Uh, either way, it'll help. Oh. Oh, I didn't even know it was a trap. Sometimes those are traps, actually. But um, the little pedestals that they stand upon. But, um, yeah. Luckily, it didn't hit me. Although, I'm wearing full Daedric. It doesn't matter if it hits me. I keep, I keep bringing it up, the fact that I'm wearing full Daedric. It's so fun, though. Uh, oh yeah, this one opens up the one over here. We, is this the last one? This could potentially be catacombs, because I know that once you enter enter through the door, you can't get out again. And if I'm not mistaken, like your follower, so can can he can your follower get stuck outside? Basically, the last room of the game. You'll see what I mean. Maybe it's this one coming up here. Maybe locks the last room of the game locks. And I don't know if it locks your follower outside or what it does. What is the point of the chests having less gold than the bodies? <laughs> Lydia, let's go. We, we can't... It may be this one. Alright, I'm just gonna use... Lydia, where are you? Don't don't joke with me. 
Uh, I need you to do something. Wait in there. Like a boss. Let's let's try something. No, because okay, let me just quick save. Okay. No, it's not gonna let me. Oh, you are following me? Still here. Okay, good. I thought maybe if I pointed at the ground, it'd be like, yeah, I don't think I, there's no way. I was yeah, there we go. It closed. <laughs> I was gonna try and, and trick the game. <laughs> the game doesn't have any of that. Um, so yeah, your follower is is much more likely to then join you in here. But I mean, it does lock pretty quick, right? These this guy has a bunch of shadows uh, guarding him. So let me just switch to this this amulet right here. Fuck off. What is that doing in my inventory? A peasant arrow out of here. So there we go. I'm just going to close the door. So I have elemental protection right now. Ideally, since he's a wizard and he's a little bit more passive, I kind of want to kill these guys before fighting him. That was one. Let's see if I can find out how many are here. Yeah, you guys are going to wait a while. Is that Icy Spear? Usually he uses the Adept spell, though. Fuck off that door. What is this? Oh, there we go. Wow, he's more... Okay, so be aggressive. I don't care. Wow, you're so destroyed. That was so easy. Oh, yeah, he has his shade as well. He loves his frost, man. Bring a goddamn frost Atronach here. That would be amazing. Okay, the, the shade does use fire. But it doesn't matter, man. It doesn't even matter. I'm not even... It is Lydia, how much damage are you doing? Oh, yeah, that's right. Hurry up and loot all the bodies in here. No, 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 never mind. Uh, loot the bodies before you take Dawnbreaker. That's how it works. So that, um, because when you do lo uh, loot Dawnbreaker, then you get teleported out of here. But of course, I don't need to be stingy. I think I counted it once. It wasn't as much money as you would think. It was like, I think maybe you scratched the thousands, like 1,000 basically. I don't think it's like, you're not picking up 10,000 gold in here or anything like that. So, yeah, well, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure that's not how much you're picking up. So, it's it's a little bit deceptive, you know. You you may think you're picking up a bunch of money, but another ruin may have, you know, one or two weapons that eventually would sell for more. I just got Dawnbreaker. I'm going to look upon Dawnbreaker in a second here. Uh, probably, I should probably use, use the Dawnbreaker. It's pretty effective. I generally don't like to... Um, uh, enchant weapons. A new day is take the mighty dawnbreaker and with it purge corruption uh -huh. from the dark corners of the world. Let's just let's just make Feel her angry. In my name, Wait. My influence may grow. Let me let me choose one. Um I'll keep the sword but find someone else's pretty religion. <laughs> they always say something like that. Okay. Am I, uh, pa pa pam pam, the break of dawn? We. All right. Next up, we're doing. Uh. All right. Let's switch to dawn break. It's gonna start with a D though. 35, 10 points, killing undead, change fire explosion. Yeah, when you kill undeads. But I thought that uh, if you picked it, maybe it's 46. Maybe it has like... Uh, I thought the enchantment could potentially be 25. Burning the undead for 25 points. I'm pretty high level. I uh, would be... Yeah, I don't know. Um, let's see what that upgrades with. Maybe ebony, perhaps. I'll check and, uh, and then I'll probably meet you guys at Winterhold. Where I walk, where I will walk towards the shrine of Azura. Okay, I just I just fast traveled to Sarthal. Uh, who are you? Afflicted, probably. I just <laughs> what a mixed match of armor: elven gauntlets and boots, and then banded iron. Um, I think Sarthal. I mean, maybe it's not as it doesn't matter. I uh, fast travel to Sarthal instead of Winterhold. There is a statue of Azura. That dragon burial site, I believe, has uh, uh, what is it called? Ice form. 
which you actually also get inside of Zarthal, ironically enough, which is not that far away from here. But yeah, I'm just gonna go. F Never mind. Wow. Oh, this is the, the part that had a, a glitched book in the beginning of the game. I guess I'll fight him because... Uh, is he gonna leave me alone? I'll discover this. Hopefully the dragon doesn't... I mean, the, my horse doesn't uh, mess with the dragon. It took an ebony ingot to uh, upgrade Dawnbreaker. Jesus Christ, dude. Uh, what? Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Dude, I got all sorts of protection right now. Elder Dragon. Yeah, this is often an Elder Dragon. How did you miss? I don't mind. Whoa, what happened to the song right there? Did you hear that? It just switched the songs. Are there two songs playing right now? Just land, you ass. Is my headset okay? Yeah, listen, it's two songs playing right now. What is going on? <laughs> Where'd you land? <laughs> there are two songs. I don't know if the recording is going to pick this up, but this is astonishing. I love it. You can't do anything. I got element. Look at that. Elemental protection, everything. Dude, I'm sorry. This is insane. I kind of want to just uh, let it happen. But I, I don't know how to fix it though. <laughs> Maybe just exit the game or something. No. It is using her thing. Her bow. Zephyr. I'm not afraid of you dragons anymore. Aha. Just shoot him. Shoot him before he flies away. I was spamming it. Goddamn shout. Look at Azura Star. She has a huge flipping statue. <laughs> this dragon just keeps landing further and further away. Would you use the shout? I swear to God, man. I swear down. Yeah, I just fly straight back down. I tried to hold it, but it didn't do anything, so I started spamming. Now I'm just gonna spam from the get go. All oh, right, stamina. No, no, no. You can't touch this. Now bite, let me move out of the way. I should have switched to the Steed Stone. I mean, magic doesn't do that much damage to me anymore. Again, same thing. I, I, can I not hold the button? See, because I switched controllers, maybe. Whoa, that does a lot more than your damn breath. Why didn't your Safrul work? What is going on? Elemental protection, bitch. So yeah, when you're fighting dragons, uh, it's a little bit easier to be a little quicker on your feet with the Steed Stone. But of course, that's not the only thing I'm going to be doing. I will be... In Azura's quest, there will be a lot of mages. So I guess it's... Wow. So I guess it's beneficial. Lydia's just using her damn bow the whole time. Uh, can I just fast travel back to Mount Anthor? So that I can get my hearse, my horse back? And be a little bit quicker with um, with everything. Uh, what would be the fastest way? I think you can go this way, right? <clears throat> oh my god. Um, I could be wrong on this, on this what I'm about to say right now. But it does make a little bit of sense if you you know if you think about it basically so i don't like to clutter up my uh shout inventory with a bunch of shouts i don't like you know uh having every single enchantment in the game i just i just pick the ones that i'm gonna need um but like i don't know if this is the case or not skyrim is a huge game a huge game there's a lot of stuff that can potentially be going on and, uh, you know, it did, came out, it did come out in, like, 2011. I have, like, a theory, almost, that, you know, the less things you have, <laughs> the 
on your character, the less locations you've discovered, the less shouts that you have, all that stuff. Maybe it makes the game run a little better. Because the game doesn't have to keep track of everything. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it doesn't matter, but... Let's talk to her. Azura has seen your coming, Traveler. I don't believe in fate. Do not. You must be. It is cryptic, I know. But Azura's... Uh, just she tell me what I need to do. Dark Elf. Find the Elven Mage, okay. He's in Winterhold. Uh, stop. Oh, I hate when they do that. What is the point of a marker if I can't access the damn location? Because the marker is in the way. Oh my god. Another one of these challenger guys. What is this? Time to end this goddamn game. Did I just... He's a vampire, I think, so he's not gonna like uh, fire. Get him, lids. Oh, oh, so that can... Isn't that a hostile act, though? Like, doesn't that a... Uh... Oh my god. Like, if, if that happens in a city, I don't know if that's gonna... No, because, no, it's supposed to do damage only to undead, right? That explosion. Hey, Nelakar. Oh, of course, and just wait for it. This staff is always here. Arcane Authority, what does it do? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Creatures and people up to the LA flee. Huh. So I guess it's like... But I mean, that's not very high though, level 8. I guess you can use it in an early build. Well, I mean, some creatures will be beneath you uh, even after you level up, you know. College, Nelakar. So, um, I've said that uh, the Dawnbreaker charge runs out pretty slow. Greetings, Archmage. Who sent you? Archmage. How do you know I'm an Archmage already? Persuade? Azura. What do you know? Yay, I think it worked. They are. But the Star of Azura will definitely help the sword um, uh, because when you kill someone. Actually, the best thing to combine it with is the Mace of Molag Baal. That's pretty good. The, those two artifacts are always made for each other, you know? I don't know if anything in the lore suggests that. Maybe Azura and Molag Baal. Because Azura seems a little, she seems nice, like they're, some of the Daedric princes, right, uh, are pure evil, Boethia, Molag Baal, Malakath, people like that. However, Azura doesn't, and uh, Meridia doesn't. Uh, Mephala, no, Mephala is evil, you have to freaking, the Ebony Blade, the way to upgrade that weapon is, <laughs> is to kill your friends. She's kind of on the same level as Boethia. Uh, who else? Clavicus Val is just crazy. Not Clavicus Val. Um, the guy with the, the Wabajack. Shea she Gorath. He's just insane. Uh, I'm not sure how evil he is. <laughs> but he's funny as hell. And Clavicus Vile. I mean, I guess, I don't know. I don't know about him. He's probably just alright. <laughs> uh, again, I'm just ta taking it uh, from what I've experienced with these guys going through Skyrim. That's a spider. Um, because I haven't read any of their lore or anything like that. And I bet I'm missing... Oh, her scene? He's... Does he count as a... Yeah, he has artifacts. But I don't know if he's... How is he even a Daedra? He's gotta be... He's gotta have absolutely nothing evil about him. He's all about, like, nature and stuff. How would he count as a Daedra? Surely he would be an Aedra, like Talos and... And, uh, Dibella and all that stuff. <clears throat> Horse, chill. All right, chill. So yeah, I'm just going to uh, Illinolta's Deep, I believe this area is called. This area also has a bunch of soul gems. Uh, just a bunch of soul gems and wizards and all that stuff. Sometimes there are mud crabs here that don't allow you to fast travel once you exit the the, the thing. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. That's what I need. No, don't glitch, please. What is, what is happening? Draw swords. There you go. So I'm just going to go ahead and kill him. You know what I think I'm going to do? Ow. Oh, 360. I didn't even, I didn't even see him. <laughs> you know when you've played Call of Duty so much? Not that, not with this game though. I'm just going to, I I have to change this to the Steed Stone, dude. I'm sorry. Uh, <clears throat> when you've played Call of Duty for, for, for a whole day or something. <laughs> 
and uh, your reactions are just in your muscle memory. Someone shoots you from the back, you turn around, you shotgun them or snipe them, square in the head, without even really thinking about it. Yeah, that, that what I just did was not that at all, but, um, you know, <laughs> whatever, I'll meet you back there. <laughs> Okie dokie, here we go. The Steed Stone is equipped. So now I uh, I don't have the Lord Stone anymore. I have less 50 less armor and 25 less Magicka defense. Maybe I should put on the amulet then to sort of compensate for that. Uh, although maybe I have it on, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Yes, I do. The amulet of Talos is now currently unequipped. No. This guy I think always has like books and whatnot we uh against wizards i mean the mason ball like ball would be good against wizard actually because it does 25 points of health and stamina i think no i mean magic and stamina or something you guys are so bad novice too why what is going on dude i don't know what i've done in this save A every single area that i go to well i mean i guess i'm speaking a little early but Every single area that I've done, like, you know, years ago, or like at least months ago when I was playing Skyrim the last time, is not as hard as I remember it to be. And I was also playing on Master like I am right now, so I don't understand a damn thing. Dude, don't don't test me, Garlic. Let me pick you up. <laughs> uh, yeah, not using the Ring of Namira anymore. Obviously, once you get extra effect. <clears throat> um... Dude, stop running. Once you get extra effect, um, the Ring of Namira ceases to be as good, obviously. But that ring technically has extra effect because you get three abilities with it. Oh, oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. That scared me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Yes, someone's here. See, I'm just rinsing dungeons, man. Insane. Ow. I, I don't even need shouts right now. Fuck, fuck. And I can't use Elemental Fury on these guys because... Uh, Stop that. Frost and Fire Souls. These are pretty valuable ingredients. So if I come across something that I'm not necessarily going to use, but it's really valuable, like Frost and Fire Souls and, yeah, stuff and Giant Stone. Well, Giant Stone I will be using. But that kind of stuff I will pick up. Because it's just like, those are the typical ingredients that when you need them, you don't have them. Oh yeah, this guy is one of those blizzard spamming mother assholes. I, I still haven't found out what the Adept uh, Frost spell is called. Wow, Arch Necromage, that is awesome. Stop with the damn th uh, ward, I want to shout you. <laughs> wow, you healed so much. What? Okay, so here's the thing, right? What kind of spell did he use? Did he use an expert spell and just heal like 300 health? Because how can it take me so long to deplete his health bar and then he can just heal it, all of it back up in like one flipping, uh, you know, spell? Not, he, he just healed once. What are you doing? Uh, did I pick the chest? Candlelight, I already have it. Despair, creatures. That's a lot of uh, value though. Uh, weapons, weapons, uh, especially like <clears throat> not very heavy weapons, like, you know, maybe not like a flipping orcish two-handed hammer. But weapons can be pretty decent to pick up later on in the game because you should have the carrying capacity, right? And uh, it's easy to sell off. That's the thing. Um, whenever I go to White Run, I always go to White Run first, right? To Avenichi and uh, the guy inside the shop. And... Uh, I just I can just sell her stuff. There is Avenichi, there is the guy inside the shop, and then there is the guy in the uh, Drunken Huntsman. You have three vendors really quickly right there. And all of them can buy weapons, but they can't buy things like rings and stuff. However, the rings don't weigh that much, so you can go ahead and pick that up as well. <clears throat> I'm just I'm just uh, weird about it. So again, I explain. I don't I don't know what the heck. Uh, soul gem fragments do so I'm not gonna be picking them up but I mean I really wish you could make soul gems out of it somehow I don't like I just I don't know 
I don't know how. Here we go. Uh, why are you not pushing? I think this controller, the RB on this controller is kind of broken. Hiya! Oh, she just dodged me like some Kuno McGregor shit. And she pulls out a dagger. <laughs> Die! Lydia, did you? Yeah, you did. Oh my god. Bro, get on life. I'm ticklish, alright? Skeleton. Oh, surprise. So this is on Master Necromage. So this guy is just... He's a master one. I kind of want to shout him before he gets too low on health. That way, uh, dude, these guys don't do anything. Alright, let me just wait for him to uh, chill. No, nope, he just healed. Alright. Yeah, wasn't that just with one hand? I was paying attention to the skeleton. How do you heal that much? Oh my god, I don't know. He's dead. Black soldier, perfect. That is probably always useful. I almost feel like I'm cheating right now. What the heck is this? <laughs> the, ma the mages don't do anything. Where is the star? Do you know where it is? Um, ebony shield? No, no, no. Grand. Oh, that was the scroll of mass pass. <clears throat> so... I don't know who would return the star to Azura, unless you want Arania, Arania, Arania. <clears throat> Let me put on my uh, glasses, my thinking, I, I don't wear glasses, I'm just kidding. To Nelikar or to uh, Arania, okay, Arania, it's, al it's almost, almost spider in Spanish, that would be Arania, but why would you ever, <laughs> and most people know this, return the star to Azura and get the, the white star or Azura star as it's called? You want the black star. The black star can trap every single soul in the, in the game while Azura can trap only white souls, so not, not humans. Azura can trap everything except humans. Black star can trap everything. But... I think that's a, like a little bit of a boo-boo on the developer's part. So, e but here's the thing, right? Even if the Black Star could trap human souls and nothing else, and Azura Star could trap animal souls and nothing else, even then, the Black Star would be better. Because only mammoths count as grand souls, right? But every single human, it doesn't matter if you're fighting a master vampire or an innkeeper, right? They still count as a grand, so it's much easier to get grand soul gems. The regular bandits and all that. Obviously, you shouldn't kill innkeepers. Let's do it. Don't let me just... Why are you going back to bed? I hate that they do that. <laughs> he actually reacts to it. That's pretty cool. How about this? Dude, nothing here is marked as not steel. What is this? He did it. He actually managed to trap his own soul inside. Did he now? But it's falling apart. It needs more and more souls to sustain itself. The star is being used to sustain Malin's soul. Copy that. I can't fix it while that fragment of him is inside. Uh, I don't know what to say. Whatever. We were to summer. <laughs> I understand if you need some time. I'm ready. Okay. Stand very still. This might stick. Oh! oh, he's forcing me to stand still. Now, take a deep breath. Fetch me their soul. Ah, my disciples have sent me a fresh soul. Why? There's something. This is my realm. So I don't think you can fall off, but uh, I've definitely uh, thought that before. Fush. So this is this can get pretty difficult, honestly. Ow. Fireballs are still a lot of damage. These guys can also heal, I'm pretty sure. Ow, 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 what? Let me loot him! Aha! You guys are just gonna drain yourself. I got elemental protection, dude. Oh, 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 okay, alright. I see how it is. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Do they drain themselves? I think they do, right? Just do your thing, I mean, 
Just do your thing. I don't give a damn. And I think if you foost them, they automatically, like, ward. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Like, they're just nuking you. It's insane. I love elemental protection, though. Um. Alright, let's do this. Wait, wait, my sword. Dawnbreaker. These guys don't technically... Oh, what the hell happened there? I could... Why can I move so fast? You see that? All of a sudden, I could move so fast with my shield race. <laughs> These guys run out of mana. He's like, ah, oh, fuck that. Yeah, I, this, the RB button is definitely broken. I tried to just... Uh... You know what? <laughs> 96 one-handed. That's wicked. So yeah, you cannot fall off of this uh, star. Even though it definitely looks like it. A challenger is near! Malkarin. Is it Malkarin? No, Malin Varen. He's usually very uh, defensive. He like he likes to like back up a lot. You guys need to take a chill. You need to cool down. So yeah, once you kill Malkarin, Man you exit. I keep calling him Malkarin. I'm going to pull your soul Oh, out. it's just a shitty stat. Brace yourself. He doesn't give you a lot of time after you kill him, basically. Ah, uh, no, I don't want to. Uh... So, yeah. <laughs> so, come on in. Lydia, what's up? Why do you keep removing your shield, woman? It's fixed, it's mine. Go ahead. My precious. Finally, congratulations. You've altered the fate of a Daedric artifact and lived. Yeah, I've altered the fate of like four already, bro. What? So I have the Star of Azura. I guess it's just a thing you just keep on you at all times. There's never any point of getting rid of it, really. Um, doesn't it? St does it stick at your at the bottom or at the top of the inventory? Black Star. So it's high to the. No. Oh, the black star. Okay, so it sticks very close to the bottom. Yeah, that's why I, that's why I remember it being quite close to the bottom. How is that artifact only worth 1,000 gold? Are you mad? Um, what, what else did I plan to do? Oh, yeah. How much time is there? It's been an hour. I have to cut on uh, 50 minutes. It's probably enough. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I just killed that dragon in Mount Anthor. Let's kill this one back here. Just need a few extra bones. Uh, I made a whole bunch of uh, dragon arrows as well when I was uh, off camera. I just <laughs> chopped wood while the videos were rendering and stuff. And yeah, I made a few arrows. So I, I probably need a few uh, dragon bones back. So if you could be so kind, Mr. Dragon, and uh, get your lizard ass down here. Bum, 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 bum. So this is Animal Allegiance. I've been here before. I didn't pick it up. Du, 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 du. Time to end this little game. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Wah, wah, wah. I trained my heavy armor. I don't even care. I mean, blocking is not really necessary until you need to defend yourself against Magicka. That way your heavy armor gets trained a lot, you know? That was a regular dragon too. That's so weird. Let's go somewhere else. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, Skyborn Altar. It hasn't been that long since I was there. Man, I haven't discovered that many dragon burial sites. Anthor just did that. Sheer point. Oh, maybe I can kill Croesus. That'd be pretty fun. I guess I can kill Croesus. Yeah, let's do that. There's a big area there as well to fight him. I'm going to turn it to daytime though. All right, Mr. Dragon. Bum, 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 bum. This is a cool song. I mean, all the damn songs in this game is awesome. are awesome. Oh, look how close he's at the Dragon Priest. I wonder if this is going to wake him, though. Oh, Lord. Looks to be a regular dragon. Oh, the Dragon Priest just woke up. They also wake up super fast. Or, like, on purpose, probably. Oh, God. He keeps nuking the ground. No, you can't fly anymore. What are you doing? Your health is below the amount of health it needs. Did you just conjure that? Who do you think you are? What? Are you stuck? Hopefully you're stuck. 
Look how much damage. They're so tanky. Lydia, I'm gonna... Oh, he fell. Yeah, exactly. What did I told you you couldn't fly, my guy. <laughs> what do you think this is? Let's go. Lydia is a Nord. She even has the boots of Resist Frost, so she's not gonna care. Let's trap in between us, Nids. Yeah. You're stuck between a rock and a hard place. Ow. Stop that. Hop, hop. So he has a Frost Enchantment that's... That's why my stamina is getting destroyed. I can't see anything. What? Croesus is a light armor mask piece. What? Do you have you run out of mana? What is happening here? Yay! Croesus and staff of fireballs. This could be useful uh, for Lydia actually, but again, like I don't know if it messes with her AI and makes her not use the shield. Because I'd like, basically, right, what I'd like her to do is I'd like her to use the staff for range instead of the bow, but then use the, the shield and the sword when, whenever that's possible. Oh, that's one area. I haven't been in a long time. Dragon Tooth Kraya. Lydia, let's go. I like how this sword in third person, like, has a glow to it. It's pretty nice. And also, it, uh, it looks very good with the, oh, oh, oh. Please do the shout. God. Hag Raven, what do you mean? Oh, she's dead. Okay, I was gonna be like, what? I'm gonna fight two of these guys? But uh, it looks good with Spellbreaker, this shield. Ow. That was uh, pretty painful, Mr. Blood Dragon. Who's shooting ice? Who's shooting. Oh. Are you kidding me? That's what I'm saying, man. Where the hell do vampires always come from? I, I don't get it. Where do you come from? Oh, this thing is good, good against vampires, of course. Time to end this. Th oh, of course, you revive the Hag Raven. <laughs> Ooh, get so destroyed. Stop that. Immediately. This is not funny. Hoya! Alright, he can't fly anymore. Ooh. Oh, see, if I'm the ancient vampire, wow. You've been around for a while. So I'm just, uh, I thought about using the dragons. No, I just learned the word of power. Wait, I've never learned that before? I am such a noob. I've been here before. Yeah, I want Elemental Fury, of course. Stop reviving people, goddammit! What do you what do you think this is? You know what? I'm done. Here's the thing, Mr. Vampire Lady. <laughs> Stop that. You keep reviving everybody. Oh oh see see this is what I mean. Where the hell is she? I think you can follow the dots. Won't you stop that? I just completely lost her when she became invisible. That is the worst. All right, Lydia, I'm sorry, but like, what? Oh, there you go. <laughs> she came out of nowhere. <laughs> what the hell? And there we go. She goes and disappears herself. There you are. Oh, yeah, I'm following the dots to find her. Dude, fuck off, you damn hag raven. What is wrong with you? That was so chaotic, and Lydia did nothing. See, her AI changes when you give her a staff. I don't know what she was doing the entire time. <laughs> no idea, actually. Did I pick your bones? No. Why do dragons, like, always have, like, random-ass stuff on them? <laughs> a normal steel shield. Thanks. Okay, so... To do the Shrine of Periite, you're gonna need a flawless ruby. That's the most, uh, that's the rarest of the ingredients, essentially, that they ask you to collect. I have, uh, I have three now, but there is a location which I probably show when I do the Shrine of Periite. So the Shrine of Periite is right here. Uh, in this river down here, this river down here, there is a, loca a location with a boat that almost always, if not always, has a flawless ruby including included in in all the diamonds that you can loot basically there but anyways this has been going on for a bit now um i'm probably no no i'm probably gonna um, just end it here figure out what i'm gonna do for the next episode uh thank you for watching oh yeah i'm gonna definitely create the the house and move everything from white run to my breeze no to my hearthfire ho home so yeah Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.